Welcome back to Kawaii Toy Collector, and in today's video, I'm going to be testing no glue hand sanitizer slime recipes. So yeah, also guys, the hashtag notification squad for my last video is Slime at Corn 103, Weirdest Girl, Zoe 499 Backup, and Deja Lee. So if you guys want to be part of the hashtag notification squad, all you guys have to do is after you subscribe to me, hit the bell. That will mean you guys will be notified right after I upload a new video. So after I upload a new video, make sure you guys comment at least under 10 minutes hashtag notification squad and you guys can be like one of the people seen on the screen today. Also guys, please leave a like and subscribe to Kawaii Toy Collector in the comments down below give us some video ideas. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first no glue slime recipe I'll be testing today is hand sanitizer slime. So the ingredients you guys need to make this slime recipe today is hand sanitizer, and I'm using this one I got from the Bath and Body Works. The next thing you guys will need is a bowl or plate to make your slime in, and last but not least you guys will need a mixing tool. So I actually tested this recipe a while ago, and it worked, and I believe it worked because I added paint into it, and the paint basically activated the hand sanitizer. But today I want to see if I add in just hand sanitizer, if it will work. So I added a hand sanitizer into my bowl, and I'm going to give it a little bit of a mix around to get it bubbling up a little bit. And now I'm going to put this into the refrigerator for about an hour, and I'll see you guys in a second. So it's been about an hour, and here it is. And this already looks like a fail. But, yeah, it's just cold. That's all that happened to the hand sanitizer. This was unfortunately a fail, so this basically proves that the paint basically will activate the hand sanitizer, and... This is just regular hand sanitizer, but cold. So let's move on to the next no glue hand sanitizer slime recipe I'll be testing today. Okay, so the next no glue slime recipe I'll be testing today is paint hand sanitizer slime. So the ingredients you guys need to make this slime recipe today is hand sanitizer. You guys will also need some paint, and I'm just using this paint I got from the dollar store. The next thing you guys will need is a bowl or plate to make your slime in. And last but not least, you guys will need a mixing tool. So, basically, the first thing you guys need to do is add in your paint. And this one's a really pretty color, and that's why I picked it out. I'm just going to add it in. Now, I'm going to add in a lot because I kind of want to make like a kind of a big batch of slime. And now I'm going to add in my hand sanitizer. And it smells so good. <laughs> and I'm going to get mixing it around. And it's already like kind of getting clumpy, but I really don't know. Okay. Now I'm going to put this into the freezer for about 45 minutes and I will see you guys in about a second. So it's been about 45 minutes and I took it out between tries of making this to add in some more point paint because it was not working at first and oh my gosh, it's got so stringy and weird like I don't know what this is. Oh my gosh. This paint, so like I added in a lot more because it was not working at all. So it's like, how about I add in some more? And look at this, guys. It, like, it's not slime, really, but it's just jelly. Like, if that explains it. <laughs> it's really stringy. No, I'm making a mess. This is really messy, so I don't really suggest trying this one, but this was a maybe, maybe, or a good one. But, yeah. I'm going to say this was a maybe, maybe, so let's move on to the next no glue slime. Okay, so the last no glue slime recipe I'll be testing today is hair gel hand sanitizer slime. So the ingredients you guys need to make this slime recipe today is hand sanitizer. The next thing you guys will need is hair gel. And I actually got this one from Walgreens on sale. The next thing you guys will need is some cream of tartar. And a bowl or plate to make your slime in. And last but not least, you guys will need a mixing tool. So I recently saw this recipe online, and I thought it was really cool to try out. And also, this hair gel does not contain alcohol, and if you didn't know, alcohol cannot freeze. And that's probably why most hand sanitizer slime recipes will not work unless you add, like, another ingredient in, like maybe paint or shampoo. So I'm first going to add this into my bowl. This is really hard to get out. <laughs> come on, come on. It's also really jiggly, and I feel like this will form slime, most likely, maybe. It also smells so good. Okay, it's really sticky. I'm going to wipe off my hand really quick. But now I'm going to take out my hand sanitizer. And I'm going to add some into the bowl. I don't need a lot of this, but that looks like enough. 
Now I'm going to add in a little bit of cream of tartar, and I believe this is used for like making gelatin or something. Put in the comments down below if you know what this is used for. Okay, now I'm going to mix this around, and my mixing tool just broke. <laughs> Great luck for me. Okay, that looks like enough mixing around. It's like all melted in. And now I'm going to put this into the refrigerator for about an hour, and I'll see you guys in a second. So it's been about an hour, and here it is, and guys, like, I mixed in between it, and, like, I could already see it start to form, and look at this. This worked. This is a big win-win, and I'm, like, so happy. It's really, really sticky, though, so I don't know if you guys like to do this, but look at this, guys. It worked. Oh, my gosh. This is so cool. It's, like, clear slime. And, like, the hand sanitizer is still in it, and it basically kind of formed it a little bit. But yeah, most likely not all hair gels will work, but I really do suggest using this one if you want to try it out. And this was a big win-win. Okay, this is so sticky. <laughs> I feel like if you don't want it to be really sticky, add in some more cream of tartar and that will most likely work. Okay, I need to go wipe off my hands really, really quickly. But this recipe was a, such a cool recipe. And like, as I said before, I saw it on the internet, and I really, really, really thought it was cool. Okay, I'm going to wipe off my hands really quick. Okay. It's really sticky, that's why I did that. But, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Here's all the slime recipes I tested. I'll just get them out to show you guys. Okay, so here they all are. The first one was a hand sanitizer slime recipe, and it unfortunately did not work. The second one was a paint hand sanitizer slime recipe. And this one was a maybe, maybe, but it's kind of thickening up a little bit, which is good. And the last one was a hair gel hand sanitizer slime recipe. And this one was a big win-win. I feel like if I added in a little bit more cream of tartar, it would work better. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And here is the big win-win of today's video. And yeah, so please leave a like and subscribe to Kawaii Toy Collector in the comments down below. Give us some video ideas. Bye guys, love you and peace. Thumbs up for no glue slime recipes. Bye! Okay guys, so before I end this video today, I'd like to show you guys all the fan mail I have accumulated over these last months. There's also some other letters, but I read it by myself, and thank you so much for sending them if you did. This letter is from Anna, and you can pause to read it, but thank you so much Anna for sending this such a sweet letter. This other little letter is from Emily, and she sent a picture of her doing, like, a handstand, I believe, and a little narwhal drawing. Here's another letter, and there's her slime Etsy shop if you want to go buy from her. And thank you so much for the letter. And here's a huge package someone sent me. They sent all sorts of goodies and stuff in here, which is so nice of her. And here's the letter. And this is from Stella. Thank you so much, Stella, for sending this. And also, all the links to, like, my P.O. box will be in the description box down below. And here's one from Sierra. She sent another little package. It was full of slime, Shopkins, toys, bracelets, all sorts of fun stuff. So if you guys want to send me some stuff in my P.O. box, I will be showing it in my videos once in a while. And yeah, all the links will be in the description box down below. And I've been keeping them in this bin. And yeah, bye guys. Thank you so much for watching.